This next question again is actually going to deal with projections. So maybe it was good that we looked at that last question by getting our head into that space. This is part C. Suppose that A, B and C are distinct non-zero three-dimensional vectors with the property that, and this is obviously pretty important, the projection of A onto C is equal to the projection of B onto C. Show that A minus B is perpendicular to C. Interesting, okay? Now this question was um, quite poorly done, which is why I think it's really worth having a close look at. And it was quite poorly done for an interesting reason. Um, you've got this geometry going on here, and it's fairly, um, it's fairly, like, repeatedly said, um, not least of all by me, that when you're looking at a geometric situation like this, um, draw a diagram to help you out, right? Now, um, this was a really interesting question to me because um, some students drew diagrams, but unexpectedly, those diagrams ended up hurting such students rather than helping them. And I'm going to explain to you why. But before I do that, I'm actually going to show you what I think is the cleanest solution in case you're just wondering like, okay, well, what do I do with this? Um, I'm going to show you the cleanest solution and then we're going to deal with the geometry of what's going on here. Okay, so I've moved all the way into question 12. So let's just uh, write that question 12. And I'm on part C. All right, now if um, I can start with this idea that the projections are equal to each other, projection of A onto C is equal to the projection of B onto C, okay? Well, what does that mean? Can we just deal with this um, in terms of the formulas, in terms of the definitions? And the answer is yes, we can, and it's remarkably straightforward. Um, there are many ways to define the projection, but in this case, in order to make my cancelling easiest, um, I think the one that's going to be most helpful is the one which has all the dot products in it. Uh, and it's kind of hilarious because it has um, the base uh, the base vector, the one that's being projected onto, over and over and over again. May, that's one of the things that I, I found funny about learning this formula. Okay, So this one, this particular form is a dot c on c dot c times C, <laughs> there you go, there's the left hand one. And then on the right hand side, everything is the same. Let's just grab that over there, except um, of course the vector we're projecting on is not A, it's B, like so, okay? And what can you do with this? Well, there's lots of bits and pieces here that you can cancel out and some of which um, you don't want to, right? So remembering that the goal I'm heading towards is that uh, what I'm required to prove is that A minus B, that that is perpendicular to C, right? So clearly, like the way that you would show things are perpendicular to one another is by the dot product being equal to zero. Like that's kind of why uh, all these dot products flying around don't make things more complicated, they actually make it easier to get to, right? Now in order to show that the dot product is equal to zero, I want the dot product of this vector, A minus B. So I need an A minus B appearing somewhere here and a C, but that's it, right? So you can see the C's are here and the dot products are there. So where can I take this? Well, when you have a look on the denominators, I hope you can see these two, um, you know, C dot product against itself is just going to be a constant. So therefore I can just multiply through by that and it's going to vanish away, right? In the same way, these two vectors that appear on, on both sides, they're superfluous so I can divide through by that. So what does that leave me with? I've got A dot C equals B dot C, okay? Now, recognizing that um, I can actually get my A minus B by subtracting that C, uh, or that B dot C rather, um, from both sides, getting my B's and my tilde's confused, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? I've got this, uh, and one of the great things about the dot product is that it's a distributive property, right? When you think about it, it's just, it's multiplication and addition, that's what's going on, and that's going to be distributive. So therefore, I can take out that dot C and apply it to the A minus B that's left, right? You can see in here, this A uh, minus B is going to become the A minus B that I need for my actual proof, so that, dot c is equal to zero, therefore, like that's it, right? Um, therefore, I'm just gonna grab this, ta-da! Sorry, that's a bit lazy, but you get the drift. Okay, so like I said, this was probably the most straightforward way to do it. Not a difficult set of marks to get um, if you knew the way to most algebraically efficiently get there, okay? But I said right at the start that this is a question which despite it being in geometric terms, the diagrams that people drew ended up being um, a, a hindrance to them and I want to explain why. 
Several people, when they had a look at this, um, this result here, they're like, ah, oh, the projection of A onto C and the projection of B onto C are the same. What might that look like? Now, this is not a bad way to, to approach the question. I really like that you wanted to think about it visually, but I want you to see the problems that ensued, right? So if you imagine like here's, let's, let's call this C, right? What would be a potential scenario where um, the projection of A onto C is the same as the projection of B? onto C. And this was a diagram that I saw a bunch of times. If you got some A up here, right? What does the projection of A onto C look like? And the answer is you imagine dropping this sort of perpendicular down and then you think, oh, it's the shadow, right? So there is that projection of A onto C. Where would it be if I could have B onto C being the same? And like I said, several people drew exactly this diagram. They had B, I went a bit too fast, sorry about that. B going off in this opposite direction and then they drop this, again, this perpendicular like so. So I've got this right angle here. I've got, uh, whoopsie daisy, get that color right. Uh, this right angle here that matches up with B. And you can say, look, see, they're, um, they're shadows, they line up perfectly, so that's why they're equal. And even though this is one potential situation where it works, the problem was students then started to reason from this particular right angle triangle, the fact that there is congruence going on here, um, because there's a common length in here, like this shadow um, is a common sign, so you can make an argument for congruence and then off you go, um, because you get two angles here that are on the same line, but they are equal to one another, so therefore they both have to be pi on two, and there's your perpendicularity, okay? But that doesn't work because it's not the only way that this can be true. Let me just give you like the most obvious example I can think of. Let's just grab this B, right? Zoop, like so, I think I've got it. And let me just move it somewhere. Just put it over here, right? Now, in this case, the projection of A onto C and B onto C, it's not the exact same interval, but the lengths are the same. So therefore, um, you know, this, uh, oops, I moved, um, I uh, moved this along with it, which I didn't listen to. Um, this statement, this equation is still gonna be true, right? Because this length in green and this length in blue are gonna be the same, but you don't have this common side that the previous um, geometric argument was made on. And so your whole um, series of argument about why they're congruent triangles, it just collapses in a heap. I mean, this angle here that, and this angle here, which people refer to, they no longer add up on a straight line. So you're in a lot of trouble there, right? Um, and so this, this didn't work. Um, and you know, even, even going back, right? Look at this kind of situation. Um, maybe as you're now thinking about the geometry of this, you can recognize why this is not the only way that it works, right? You can see, for example, um, let's just get rid of this, this B altogether. Um, what's another place where B could go that doesn't create anything like those congruent triangles you saw before? And the answer is imagine sneaking B in here. See this, imagine if this was B, right? Again, when you draw that, drop that pop perpendicular down, um, it's the same, the foot here is gonna be the same, and so unsurprisingly, you get the same shadow here, so the projections are equal. And in fact, the thing I like about this is two things. Number one, you're like, where are the congruent triangles? They're gone, because this situation does not demand congruent triangles. And secondly, this actually clarifies what's going on with this situation, right? What is A minus B? And the answer is, it's going to be running along this, um, uh, this particular vector along here, right? And you can see if you sort of do this dot here, you can see why it's going to be right angled. Um, it's positioned at a different spot, but it's going to be parallel to this perpendicular, right? So that's why it has to be right angled because the projection drops this perpendicular shadow down and that's why you have that 90 degrees, right? So no congruent triangles. And this situation you can see is it's hard to generalize, which is actually exactly why the algebra is the best way to go. Um, the algebra is brilliant because no matter what the geometric situation looks like, where this thing is, where it belongs, it could be flying off somewhere completely separate, right? The algebra still holds. And that's why this is one of those very, very few examples where drawing a diagram was dangerous because you um, went away from the gener generality that algebra gives you to a specific geometric situation and the geometric reasoning that you used was tied to that situation and so it wasn't valid um, for any A and um, B and C where this particular property was true, okay? so. Pretty tricky one, um, but uh, you can't be blamed for um, being tripped up by it because it was a pretty curvy curveball.